Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some subtle deals, eh? Alright, we are here in the museum dealing with this murder mystery we got going on here. Apparently somebody killed Liam. So far we've talked to Jessup and Elaine and Gusto. We still need to talk to Shady Shamrock and Zookeeper yet. And some of the uh, information that we've gathered so far, Jessup works in this place. And supposedly there's some financial issues going on with this place and he got his pay cut. And he also made a hint that the uh, zookeeper is uh, suspicious as well. And we also found out that Elaine was possibly having a, an affair with Liam. And she's married to Gusto. So, And Gusto's apparently given Liam a ton of money to finance this place and he hasn't been getting anything in return. So all these guys have some kind of motive. So let's keep talking. Let's talk... Let's deal with uh, Shady Shamrock next, see what he has to say. I'm surprised I haven't been shackled and sent to the gallows already. <laughs> Relax, I'm only here to do the right thing. I've got nothing to hide, so look for what you want. I just want to ask a few questions and then I'll be going. Make them quick, I've got nothing to do with this. Where were you when Liam was killed? In the storage room, you know. Where Zookeeper stays most of the days and nights, having a drink with him. We actually found the body first. Nobody else was around. Zookeeper sent the guards running, and here we are. You don't seem too upset about it. Eh, I've seen the dead before. This wasn't too bad, in the details either. You got more for me? Who's the last person you saw with Liam? Saw him myself not long ago dead though when he was alive he was talking with Jessup last I heard didn't see them but sound travels far in this place and I can pick up on sounds easier than most so what else is there what do you know about the museum finances seems to be doing fine to me with all this fancy old stuff about this stuff doesn't come cheap of course I hear things know things Liam was in dire straits all the time. Now, I'll tell you, in my line of work, we run into people needing gold all the time. Usually it's for liquor and gambling. Even the red light has been known to bury more than a few poor saps. But so what? They deserve what they get. <laughs> poor Liam, though. He never did anything like that, from what I can tell. Not in Glarandar, anyway. He indulged himself plenty, though, on this museum. Never spared a copper when it came to filling it with interesting garbage dead people left behind. Did you kill Liam? Can't say I did, and I'll vouch for Zookeeper on that too. I know, can't trust a word of a thief, but I'll leave you with something convincing to chew on. Do you think I'd be here if I did? I'd be two towns over by now, and this place would be empty. Except, I'm here. And my pockets are the only thing empty. <laughs> I like this city. Oregon knows how to run a watch without giving too much interference. Things are safe for everyone. I don't want to have to leave, you see. I came out on good faith. Nothing to hide. We understand each other, right? Now, what do you have? More questions? I'm done with you. Hmm, he made some good points, too. So he's kind of pointing a figure at Jessup. Hmm. But he's saying the zookeeper had nothing to do with it. Let's talk to zookeeper next. A long day. Hey, a what's up? What, are you drunk? Yeah, just a bit. No more than usually. I just want to ask a few questions. It's about Liam, eh? I always, always liked the guy. Where were you when Liam was killed? Me and Shady Sham was having ourselves an afternoon lunch in my living quarters back yonder. I had to make my rounds cleaning up the place, and what have you. And there he was, lying there. He had a few too many. So I finished what I had to do, you see, and then came back, and he's still lying there. <laughs> so I fetched me a guard, and that was that. Who was the last person you saw with Liam? Don't know. I don't pay him much mind. But Sham said he heard him arguing with Jessup about something or another. I don't pay him much mind neither. 
Were you aware of the financial situation of the museum? Nah, I don't pay that much mind. You got enough on my plate cleaning up and what have you. A couple of months back, wife left me, kids left me. I'm alone, so I worked myself to the bone and stayed drunk to forget about it. <laughs> Moved in here after that. Lots of folks thinking it's the pay cut from Liam that cost me everything. It's not. It's the booze here. Never been sober a day in my life. <laughs> in public, I blamed Liam, it's true. What else could I do? Could be the drunk of town. Not enough dwarves around to make up for it. But they left me long before that happened. Liam took me here. Let me stay in the back, free of charge. I actually got a lot more to spread around the bottle. Now that I don't have two mouths to feed, and no house to keep up on. Did you kill Liam? Wife says I'm around to ruin lives. True or no, I'd never hurt nobody. Don't got it in me. If I did, maybe I'd be living good like you or Morgan. Fighting away in some land, dying proud. I'd dream of that, but ain't got it in me. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it could be anybody. Let's talk to Captain Borgen again, see if he says anything new now. Uh, I think I found something you might want to hear about the murder. Found something, eh? So what do you know? I have something on Gusto. You tell Captain Borgen of what you found out about Gusto. That his wife claimed to have an affair and directly accused him of murder. That's very interesting, Peldor. Good work. I gotta tell you, Peldor. Gusta was my last pick on this. Look, I don't know why he stays with her any more than you do. But it seems to me like it's nothing more than ranting and raving on Elaine's part. Matter of fact, I might be watching her more of murder and Gusto way she is. <laughs> Keep looking, Peldor. I don't believe her story, so you'll need something more substantial. Hmm. Alright, there was another option in there, wasn't there? I have something on Zookeeper. You tell Captain Borgen of what you found out about Zookeeper, that it's rumored that he lost his wife and children because of the pay cut. That's very interesting. I hear what you're saying. Might be a good motive, but I've seen him drunker than a skunk long before he lost his home. And on top of it, Shamrock was with him at the time of his death. I can't be so sure of it knowing that. Keep digging around, Peldor. There's more to this than I think. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have a key to these doors now. Can we get in them? Yeah. Staff only door. Let's go searching through some of these rooms, I guess. What's this? An archive. This is what looks like a fake bookshelf. None of the books are real. Perhaps it's some kind of prop from one of the exhibits, past or present. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of fishy. And it looks like there's a door behind it. Apparently we can't do anything with this. Hmm. Any secret doors here? Alright, that's definitely fishy. Huh. Alright, maybe we have to come back to that later. We can't... It doesn't appear we can do anything to that. Alright, let's see. There was another door back here. Yeah, this is probably the zookeeper's room back here. Let's take a look in here. Oh, storage room. Nothing back here. Yeah, there's a sleeping mat or something right there. This must be Zookeeper's room. Doesn't look like there's anything back here, though. Huh. Alright, let's go check the rest of the place out and see if there's anything different. Not seeing anything back here. Alright, let's keep looking. 
The donation box. Looks like we can get into this now. 38 gold. Let's take it. Hmm. Nope, we just got an alignment shift toward chaotic. <laughs> How is our alignment now, anyways? We're still neutral good. Alright, this is where Shady Shamrock was handling his business. Is there anything new back here? No. And here's the archives. Doesn't look like there's anything new back here. Hmm. Well, maybe he'll say something about that fake bookshelf over there. Let's see if Morgan has something new to say. You know what? I'm afraid this is getting us nowhere, Peldor. I've been thinking about this, and that's since we started searching for clues. A lot of this doesn't add up. The biggest thing to me right now is there's something not right about the building itself. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I noticed the damn fake bookshelf. It's like there's a part of it missing. Going right out of the middle. Jessup, you work in the papers and all that. Is there something about in here with the floor plans or the museum? I don't know, Borgen. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I'm certainly not. Shut your mouth, you stinking mage. I'm getting real tired of it real quick. Just tell me what I want to know. And don't say nothing more. Yeah, yes. There is a section of the archives dedicated to Glarandar near the local history section. If it exists, it would be there. That's so difficult? Peldor, go ahead and take a look over there. Find those documents. I think our murderer isn't with us here, and our answers are somewhere else. Hmm. Okay, so apparently, we need to go to the archive and start looking through stuff. Alright, I guess we can start from here. Alright, let's skip that. Skip that. Skip that. Oh, here's something different. This bookshelf contains information specifically on Glarandar. I need to look for those floor plans. You sift through the papers and books for what seems like hours until finally you come upon something. All right, we just picked up some floor plans. Let's take a look at that. The old documents are careful drawings of the Glarandar Museum, found among copies of most of the buildings in Glarandar. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this back to Borgen. Hello. You got them now? Good work, Peldor. You got a lot of talents, I can see that. Let me take a look at him. Well, this is the room. According to the floor plans, there's more to this room than we see now. Oh yeah, now we're at the area where that fake shelf was. I'm gonna search around for something. Maybe a switch of some sort. Look, the bookshelf is moving. Everyone, get back! Well, I think whatever happened to Liam, that room has something to do with it. So let's regroup, and I'll grab some guards. And miss out on the valuables back there? I don't think so. <laughs> Shamrock. Oh, he's running back there. Ah, that's fine. He can hold his own. And who knows what kind of old traps are back there and whatnot. If anything, he can go ahead and disarm. Oh, he's screaming at something. Let's go, Peldor! There's no time to wait for help. Oh. Oh, there's some werewolves. Oh. A changeling werewolf. Alright, Captain Borgen just joined us, okay? Alright, let's see if we can get back here. Oh, he's fighting a werewolf right here. Alright, let's see. Let's buff up a little bit here. Let's get some armor up. And, oh, Shamrock, yeah, he's dead back there. Alright, maybe we can launch a fireball back there. Let's get some mage armor up first, though. Alright, let's see, we got a changeling, a werewolf, and a werewolf. Let's see. Let's... Let's get some mass curse first. And 
let's see, let's see if we can crank a fireball back here. If I can. Yeah, we might be able to get all of them without hitting Borgen. Let's drop it there. We'll hit at least two of them. I hope. Oh, we did get all three of them. He's near death, he's injured. Alright, let's get some electric loop. Hmm. I don't know if we can hit all three of them without hitting them. Let's at least get these two over here. Let's drop it there. Let's see, can we control him? No. Come on. Alright, he's near death. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Let's get some lesser orb of acid and let's drop it on that change thing. Alright, they're all near death now. Um, let's get a wand of missiles fired up. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this changeling dead here. Damn, he's down to one hit point. All right, let's see. Let's use some more missiles on this one here. All right, that one's down. That one's near death. Let's move in. Should be able to take him down. Target resisted all damage, okay. Let's go with some shocking grasp then. Come on. Alright, that got him. Alright. Not seeing anything else back here. Let's see if Captain Borgen says something if we talk to him. Nope, let's keep moving. Alright, there's some remains right there. Let's grab them. Seven coins. Alright, let's take a quick look over here. Is there anything back here? Can't get back here. It looks like it was some kind of barracks or something. That yeah, junk pile here. Alright, let's see what's back here. Let's check Shamrock's body. A lost artifact. Although this item has no special power to speak of, it bears from ancient and fallen Narfel. As such, an old item. It might be worth something to someone. Hmm. Alright, chemist workbench. Anything here? Some gold, a gem, and some instructions. What is this? They have recovered the amulet. Steal it again, and do not fail. Do not be seen. Use the passage as you did last time. Our plans are close to completion, so do it quickly. Hmm. There's a rusty lever there, and a chest. What's in the chest first? A dagger, a scroll, and some gold. Alright, dagger plus one, and deep slumber. We already have that. Let's hotkey that. Hmm. Alright, let's see what happens when we use this lever. So, you didn't see an amulet around either. At least, Peldor. I think we found us the true killer and thief. It wouldn't be hard for a shifter, the one we just killed, to pose as any of them out there and create a scenario to put us all against each other. But why? And where is the amulet now? Peldor, are you thinking what I'm thinking? That this lever is going to show us where the amulet went and lead us to who wanted it stolen? That's right. If you want to do the honors, let's see what it does. You struggle with the lever, but finally it turns over. What was that? I don't know, but it came from back the way we came. Let's go see what it was. Hmm. Okay, something opened. There's something right there, a gaping hole. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else back here? gaping hole. Hmm, let's see, we had a journal update. Alright, that one's completed now. Hmm. Let's talk to these guys. They say anything new? I could use a drink. I greet you. Thank you for all your help. Yeah. Alright, nothing else appears to have changed. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Look at that.
My creations, they fell down that hole. Bah, Jessup, don't worry about that. Me and Peldor is going to go down and get him for you, right? That's right, Captain. That's my boy. It's been more than a good while since I've been out from behind that desk and in the thick of it. Now, let's be moving along, Peldor. If you're ready, that is. I need a few minutes for supplies and healing. I'll be back when I'm ready. Very well. Let's come back here when you're ready to go and be quick. The longer we take to get down there, the further the amulet gets from us. Alright, yeah, I should probably go ahead and maybe sell a few things and handle business. Maybe we can find out somebody who will take this lost artifact too. Hmm. Hello. Let's see. Hello. Are you ready to go yet? Not quite. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of shopping. If something interesting happens outside, I'll cut back in. I'll see you in a moment. Alright, all done. Sold a couple things. I didn't buy anything though. I talked to a bunch of people to see if they knew anything about that uh, this strange stone too, that lost artifact. Nobody appears to know anything about that, so I still have that. So I rested up and I rebuffed up and I think we're ready to go. Let's talk to Captain Borgen. Hello. You ready to go now? Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, you're back, Peldor. You took quite a fall. Oh, we fell down there? Must be 50, 60 feet down. That hole in the floor turned into a steep chute pretty quickly. Now oh, here we are. Where are we? Not sure exactly. Best I can figure is we found some old forgotten tunnels the Glar and our army used a few dozen decades ago. The town kept growing. And there's been peace for a while, so nobody knows about them. Except, of course, our good amulet thief and murderer. And now us. What should we do next? Well, that's a good question, Peldor. I only took a quick look around. Didn't want to leave you laying there alone. Thanks for that. Couldn't do that to a friend. I wouldn't never sleep right again knowing I let some rats chew your sleeping self to pieces. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I took a look around the room. Nothing in here except for old bones. Maybe from an old battle down here from God knows when. So I'm thinking that since we ain't going up, we're going out the door. We're going to have to stick together on this. I know you're plenty capable on your own. Don't you doubt that. But this place doesn't sit right with me. We'll have to watch each other's backs from here on in. By the way, name's Red. Go ahead and drop the Captain Borgen and just call me that. We're comrades now. And don't you forget, we're still looking for the amulet and the ones responsible. All right. All right, Borgen is now with us as a true companion. Step with me. Come on. Let's take a look at him. Follow along. All right, he's a third level ranger, human, neutral good. Good strength and dexterity with 16 and 15, constitution 14, wisdom 13, intelligence 12, charisma 10. All right, let's see what he's got for skills. He's got a good concentration, disabled device, and some hide, some listen, a little bit of lore. He's got a decent move silently, good parry and search, and set trap. And he's got some spot and survival, and a little bit in tumble. Alright, cleave, power attack, toughness, track, and he's got weapon focus scimitar. Two weapon fighting combat style, alrighty. Alright, what's he got for gear? Wow, he's got no armor. Okay, he does have armor. He's got a chain shirt. Let's equip that now. And Masterwork Cold Iron Scimitar. Attack bonus one, cold iron. Alchemical Silver Dagger. Damn, I should have kept that damn dagger I had. I sold that damn thing. Alright, and he's got some potions of cure moderate and the Glarandar Heavy Shield. Which is a normal heavy shield. Alright, he doesn't have any... Oh yeah, he does have a spell, Cure Light Wounds, okay. Alright, well, we can level him up too. Let's go ahead and level him up now. Keep him going as Ranger. And probably gonna keep going with some Strength. Yeah, let's go with some Strength. 
Okay, maybe I should give him a bunch of heal. Yeah, you know what? Let's pump let's pump a bunch, most of it all up into heal. And what else can we give him? Let's give him Let's give him a little bit and listen. All right, and animal companion. Um Let's go with a bear. Dariad. Let's keep that name. Alright, and another level up. Alright, let's keep pumping some into heal. And let's go with some listen. And let's get some spot. And let's put some in survival. And we have one more point. Maybe we can put it in search. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it in search. Alright. Favorite enemy. I'm thinking humans. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, let's get him a portrait. Alright, this one actually might do pretty good. Looks kind of like him. He's got a little bit of blonde hair. Let's go with that. Okay. Well, whatever's down here, we're going to have to investigate in the next episode as we are running up on time. Let's go ahead and end her here.